Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. You can probably tell from my current background that I am, in fact, not at SparkFun HQ. But where am I, you might ask? Well, I'm at home, working from what some might call my home office workshop studio, what my family would call the basement, what others might even go as far as to call my lair. But still, at home is kind of vague as far as location goes. What if I were to pose the question, where exactly am I? Well, of course, we all know that for that kind of specificity, I'm going to need some type of a GPS GNSS module. Perhaps something like our new, fresh out of the reflow oven, SparkFun Quick Neo M9N GPS breakout with an SMA connector. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, or actually saying out loud at your screen if you do that kind of thing, Rob, the Neo M9N sounds really familiar. Don't you already carry that? And how can you call this new? Well, you're correct. We do use this module on a couple of boards because it's a great little module. We're just adding a new breakout board with an SMA antenna connector. Now, a lot of you are probably already familiar with this module, but I'm going to go over all the specs for this board just to make sure that everybody is caught up and on the same page. Like its siblings, this board hosts the Ublox Neo M9N 92-channel GNSS receiver with 1.5 meter horizontal accuracy and a 25 hertz refresh rate on four concurrent GNS systems. Its cold time to first fix is 24 seconds, with a hot time to first fix at 2 seconds. However, with the onboard rechargeable battery, you have backup power even when the unit's powered down, allowing for a hot fix almost all the time. The board offers a maximum working altitude of 80,000 meters and a maximum velocity of 500 meters per second, with a velocity accuracy of 5 centimeters per second. All this while only drawing about 31 milliamps whilst tracking GPS and GLONASS. Additionally, with a surface acoustic wave filter combined with a low noise amplifier integrated into the RF path, the Neo M9N module can maintain normal operation even under strong RF interferences. And it supports NMEA, UBX, and RTCM protocols over the UART or I2C interface. And the SMA connector on this variant of our Neo M9N board is great if your project has a little room to spare and you need a higher frequencies than you can get with the U.FL connector. Up to 17 gigahertz with SMA, or if you think you might need to disconnect and reconnect the antenna multiple times and don't want to worry about wearing out the connection. And of course, the two quick connectors allow for solderless prototyping without using our precious UART ports. However, if you really feel the need to solder, communicate over UART, or drop this breakout into a breadboard setup, we've broken out the pins at the breadboard standard 2.54 millimeters for your convenience. On the flip side, we've got several sets of jumpers. The I2C jumpers connect to a pair of pull-up resistors in the I2C's data line, and these can be cut if you have too many I2C devices on that line. The SPI jumper enables the SPI data bus, thus disabling the UART functions of those lines. And finally, the power and PPS jumpers cut power to their respective LEDs, cutting down on power consumption if you need to squeeze as much time as you can from a battery power source. So my plan at this point was to just mask up, go outside, and show you a quick demo with this Neo M9N board. But as I was at my workbench, putting together some components and writing a short sketch, all of a sudden some numbers popped up on my quick OLED that weren't zeros. Uh, I checked the latitude and longitude values, and it had me pegged right in my house, almost pretty much right at my workbench. Now, I need you to know that my workbench is, is nowhere near a window down here. In fact, in fact, if Godzilla were to attack my fair Hamlet and I were at my workbench, I'm pretty sure I would escape unscathed. I mean, it just goes to show what this module with a good SMA antenna can do. You know, sometimes the best demos don't take a whole lot of brain power. They just kind of present themselves. Oh, and yes, I did truncate the values for this, but I only did that because if you all found out where I live, it would be really embarrassing if you all came over for dinner at the same time and I hadn't chilled enough Montrachet Grand Cru. So there you have it. With software configurability options for things like geofencing, odometer, spoofing detection, pin control, low power mode, and many others, the SparkFun Quick Neo M9N GPS breakout with the SMA connector is a great way to keep your bearings. Pick up yours over at sparkfun.com and please stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. NEM. NEM. That's not what it is. That's okay, because we can cut there and do a close-up with the NME Manemine. Manemine. To just mask up and go out shy. Shied. Manemine. Doot, 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 doot.
boy, I was way behind or ahead of myself. And we're just add adding a new board. So close. Yeah, I guess that'll do. Let's read some words. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>